1974 murder of a Texas woman named barely visible to the naked eye, not enough for a normal DNA test, the staggering number of cold cases that are currently open. Some of the most chilling crimes remained unsolved. Murderers vanished into thin air, and victims' families were left with nothing but unanswered questions. But today, science is rewriting history. From a DNA test cracking the Golden State Killer case to AI stitching a suspect's face after 28 years, modern forensic technology is solving cases that once seemed impossible. How did these breakthroughs happen? And what other mysteries have been unraveled by science? DNA and genealogy changed everything. For more than 40 years, California lived in fear of a ghost. A man who terrorized families, sneaking into homes at night, attacking over 50 women and killing at least 13 people. He was a master of disguise, always one step ahead. No fingerprints, no witnesses, just fear. It all started in the 1970s when reports of a masked intruder began surfacing. The attacker would break in, tie up his victims, and vanish into the darkness. By the 1980s, the crimes escalated to brutal murders. The police had no solid leads, only chilling phone calls from the killer himself, mocking investigators. Decades passed, the case turned ice cold. Detectives retired, families lost hope. But then, in 2018, science did something no detective could. A team of forensic experts uploaded the unknown killer's DNA, collected from old crime scenes, to an online genealogy database. This database was meant for people tracing their family history, not hunting criminals. But within days, the system found something shocking, a distant relative of the killer. Investigators built a family tree, eliminating suspects one by one. The search led to a name that had never been on their radar, Joseph James D'Angelo, a former police officer. Police started watching him. One day, D'Angelo threw away some trash, a napkin. Forensic teams tested it, a perfect DNA match. On April 24, 2018, police arrested the 72-year-old man in his quiet suburban home. He had been living a normal life, hiding in plain sight. When confronted, he muttered, I did all those things. At his trial in 2020, he pleaded guilty. Survivors and victims' families finally saw justice after four decades of pain. The Golden State Killer was no longer a ghost. Thanks to modern forensics and genealogy, science had caught the monster that terrorized California for years. What do you think? Should genealogy databases be used more to catch criminals? Share your thoughts. Wrong man, right science. On October 3, 1984, Christine Jessup, a nine-year-old girl from Queensville, Canada, vanished without a trace. Her disappearance shocked the small town. Three months later, on December 31, 1984, her body was found in a wooded area, miles away from her home. She had been assaulted and murdered. The police were under pressure to solve the case. Soon, they arrested Guy Paul Morin, a quiet neighbor. In 1986, he was put on trial, but the jury found him not guilty. However, the prosecution didn't give up. In 1992, after a second trial, Morin was wrongly convicted of Christine's murder and sentenced to life in prison. But science had a different story to tell. In 1995, forensic experts used DNA testing, a technology that was still new at the time. The results were shocking. Morin was innocent. The DNA from the crime scene did not match him. After 10 years, he was finally freed, and the case went cold once again. For 25 years, Christine's real killer remained unknown. But in 2020, modern forensic science solved the mystery. Investigators used genetic genealogy, a technique that connects crime scene DNA with family trees. The result pointed to a man named Calvin Hoover, who had died in 2015. He was a family friend of the Jessups and had gone unnoticed for decades. Christine's family finally had the truth. 
science not only freed an innocent man, but also revealed the real killer minus 36 years after the crime. This case proved that forensic technology is the key to solving cold cases, delivering justice, no matter how much time has passed. What do you think? Should all old cases be reinvestigated with new forensic technology? Let us know in the comments. Science unmasks a ghost. In 1985, a hunter walking through Bear Brook State Park, New Hampshire, stumbled upon a large rusted barrel. Inside, he found something horrifying, two bodies wrapped in plastic. Investigators determined they had been there for years, but without identities or leads, the case went cold. 15 years later, in 2000, another barrel was discovered, just 100 yards away from the first. Inside were two more bodies. Now, police had four victims, all female, but still no names, no suspects, just a terrifying mystery. Who were they? And who had left them there? For decades, traditional forensic methods failed. But in 2017, science finally caught up. Experts turned to isotope analysis, a technique that examines chemical traces in bones to determine where a person lived. The results were shocking. Three victims were related, likely a mother and her two daughters, and had spent years moving across the United States. The fourth girl was unrelated, but had lived in the same region. Using genetic genealogy, a new forensic breakthrough, investigators traced DNA to distant relatives. Finally, in 2019, the mother was identified as Marley's Honey Church, missing since 1978. Her daughters were Murray Vaughn and Sarah McWaters. The last girl, Terry Rasmussen's unknown victim, remained nameless. But who was the killer? Forensics had an answer. Terry Rasmussen, a drifter with many identities, had already died in 2010. He had been arrested in 2002 under another name. Investigators now knew he was the chameleon killer, responsible for more unknown crimes. The Baird Brook murders, once a mystery, were solved not by witnesses or confessions, but by science. DNA and isotopes gave names to the nameless, bringing long overdue justice. But the question remains, how many more victims did Rasmussen leave behind? Science may one day reveal the full truth. Solved after 46 years with advanced DNA. It was February 17, 1974, in Fort Worth, Texas, when 17-year-old Carla Walker and her boyfriend, Rodney McCoy, left a Valentine's Day dance. They were sitting in a car, enjoying their night, when suddenly, the door flew open. A man yanked Carla out and hit Rodney with a gun so hard that he blacked out. When he woke up, Carla was gone. For three days, police and her family searched everywhere. Then, a heartbreaking discovery. Carla's body was found in a culvert near Lake Benbrook. She had been assaulted, tortured, and strangled. But there were no strong leads, no witnesses, and no way to identify the killer. The case went cold. For decades, detectives tried everything. DNA was collected from Carla's clothing in the 1990s, but technology wasn't advanced enough to identify the suspect. In 2018, forensic scientists decided to try something new, advanced DNA extraction techniques. This allowed them to get a full DNA profile from the old evidence. They sent it to a forensic genealogy lab, comparing it with databases of family trees. The result? A match to 77-year-old Glenn Samuel McCurley, a man who had lived in the same area all these years. Back in 1974, he was questioned because he owned a gun similar to the one used in the crime, but without DNA proof, police couldn't arrest him. This time, they had solid evidence. In 2020, detectives tricked McCurley into giving a fresh DNA sample from a soda can. The results confirmed it. He was Carla's killer. After 46 years, he was finally arrested and, in 2021, he confessed to the brutal crime. He was sentenced to life in prison. Carla's family, after nearly five decades of pain, finally got justice. 
This case proved that no matter how much time passes, science will find the truth. The Carla Walker case is proof that no crime stays hidden forever. 46 years after her tragic death, advanced DNA forensics finally gave her family the justice they had been waiting for. From genealogy tracing to new DNA extraction methods, science is turning cold cases into solved mysteries. And this is just the beginning. So, what do you think? Will forensic science and AI make every crime solvable in the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you love crime-solving stories backed by science, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.